Garfield Kart, or Garf Kart, as the kids call it, dropped in 2013 and was one of the most revolutionary racing games of a generation. Developed by Artifact Studios and published by Microids, the same people who'd made classic games such as The Green Adventure, Farmer Friends, or the Doctor and Nurses, which were both only $30. And this doctor screwing up left and right, I tell you this much, I'm getting fired! Or better yet, Black Sad. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Garfield Kart was met with mostly negative reception from critics due to what they call an unimaginative gameplay, low productive value, and poor design mechanics. Nintendo Life gave Garfield Kart a score of 3 out of 10, while describing it as a bland, horribly unbalanced kart game. To add insult to injury, they uploaded this on a goddamn Monday, you stupid mother- Hardcore Gamer gave Garfield Kart a rating of 1.5, criticizing the game as absolutely dreadful. But then why does the Steam community cherish and rate this game so highly? Well, let's take a peek into reviews left by gamers like you. Imagine Mario Kart, but better. This is a cry for help, please help. Checkmate, atheists. Sexually liberated. I cried countless times playing this. This masterpiece. The entire time I wept silently in awe at the power of what I was witnessing. Even now as I write this, I'm tearing up a bit. Garfield Kart is and will always be a masterpiece above all others. It's unbelievable that it was created by mere mortals. To put it simply, they will never know the true joy, and I pity them gratefully for that, of course. The raw power emanating from the physical form is far too much for a non-believer. I pity them. I pity them for the fact that they will never know the experience of playing Garfield Kart released on November 3rd. This beautiful creation has been my reason of creation and reason for living to think that Garfield Kart is available at your local GameStop, Walmart, or even Steam on almost any platform is unbelievable. An intimidating enlightenment for a measly five United States dollars. This item, no, blessing, has more power than any other force on Earth, even the universe combined. I'm convinced Garfield Kart can end world hunger, dictatorship, and any other issues the world may have. The only question being, when do we make use of this amazing potential? I apologize for the long review, but I simply couldn't have expressed my feeling on the masterful works of art in anything less than what I've already written. Thank you for reading my review of the greatest piece of media ever created. And remember, fuck Mondays. Well, there you have it, folks. Even if a game feels like you're playing without fingers while falling down an elevator shaft, if meme culture likes funny cat who hates Mondays and eats lasagna, it'll be forever held up as a masterpiece far and wide for generations to come. What do you think? Should meme culture's baby die in a hole or forever stay on its pedestal? Or maybe you should have just been playing Garfield World Tour, bitch. You see? Mexico. Well, that's a long way. And huh? Huh? What does that guy want? Do you understand <laughs> oh what he's God, trying to say to us? Shit, man. <laughs> ah, I don't want to wind up in tacos. Run, Odie. Run. Uh...